Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 82 of Starbound! Last episode, we got our buddy Bobbot here. It's like Bobots, Bobbots, whatever you want to call it. Explore the rest of this planet. Um, sadly, no glitch village. We ended up finding an avian village in like an avian dungeon as well. So, we need to go to a new planet in the fiery place. Volcanic terrain, which is what we want. It is exquisitely hot, said that description. Don't want to find a sea. Don't want to find any of that stuff. We want to find a normal planet. We can zip on across, get the loot, and get out. Um, I stored quite a bit of stuff last time. And I really need to start thinking about, like, loot, storage, and that stuff. I know we're working on uh, storage at our base, but, like... The more I look at the crap that I have, the more daunting it becomes, and I almost wonder if two, I think I'm only like 16 at 32, two little chests versus a human ship. I think I think the human ship lockers are really efficient for the amount of space, the, the amount of stuff that they store in the space they take up, but our our, uh, our future colony is going to need quite a bit of, quite a bit of storage. Our whole bottom floor might end up just being chests. Uh, oh wow, right off the bat. That's like, again, every time I see this, I see a face. It's like set piece. Bob, but I want to see what you can do to one of these crab canos. I'll kill one for you, though. That's semi-fair. Get over here and hug it out with this man. I want to see what Bob Bot can do. Here, if I hit him, does he get mad? Go get him, Bob Bot. Go, go get him, dude. Oh. Uh, two hits almost killed him. He has a lot of defense, but he still is really freaking weak. I, I, I just feel like the pets are super underpowered, and it's sad. It's so sad. Oh, what, what do we have in here? What do we got? Lava balloons? I guess I'll take those. No other real choice. Hey, you. Destroyed. Alt and control. Don't see anything down there. Holding alt still. Holding alt and traversing up the mountain and control at the same time is a little bit awkward. But it, it can be done. My fingers are nimble, ladies. Take note. But it can be done. Hey, little pet thing, dude, that I can't capture. Also, why was I on the wrong toolbar? Get out of here. Get out of here. What are these? These trees look new. Just wooden logs and no... No seed. For sapling. Why was the water... Oh! I forgot to put away the blocks that I picked up. Um, tell you what. That's an easy fix. We, we just got onto this planet. There's no point in uh, exploring the rest of it without doing this real fast. I picked up quite a few blocks... Uh, digging up all that stuff on that planet. I mean, like, all the iron and crap. So I should store eh, as much as I can in some of these chests. Things that I'm not using in particular. Like that. Metal bars I might be using. Loose silt, no. Tons of dirt, rubble. Just the stupid stuff. The bones. That frees it up for me to go get loot. Uh, this dude's dead. And yes, I know people said you can, you can carry the pet healing station with you and just keep resurrecting your pet. And that makes perfect sense, but... For what they offer and how tedious it is. I don't know how to feel about that. Pet station. How much was another, another pet healing station? I just need a battery. And it's going to rip my Durasteel supply. And I really got to get out there and get some more Durasteel. It's, it's, it's become a problem. I've been mooching off of the supply that I've had for so long. And, well, I'll, I'll bring the pet... We'll, we'll try it. The whole pet healing station in my inventory thing. But Bob Bot's going to die a lot, I suspect. But anyway, like... Durasteel. We need to go to a lower tier planet because we're finding mainly uh, Age Alt, Viol, and like all the higher tier stuff on this planet. We're, we're not really finding the lower tier stuff. And I haven't really been mining. Dude, I wish I could capture you, but did Bob Bot just jump in the lava? God damn it. Bob Bot. He, look, he's already almost dead. He jumped in the lava. <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Bob Bot's just going to do nothing but die a lot. Here, Bob Bot, I choose you. <laughs> oh god damn it. oh man you're 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 a monster too i wish i had more capture pods i'd totes capture you guys wrecked absolutely positively destroyed you're weird looking too shut up and die uh i can pick up the water now that's cool those things don't give me anything special so i'll leave them be they look prettier out of my inventory anyway seven points of damage why is this lava planet uh, volcanic planet randomly having uh water pools Hey, you tra trader. My shop is resplendent with wares. Come and see. You leave the merchant man alone. Lake Grease, Explorer, Lake Reef Pod, Raw Fish. That's cool. Actually, I still haven't found seeds for that. 
37? Uh, it does more damage than the thing that I'm using. It has Blade Whirl. Out of curiosity. I sort of want to buy it, but it's also 3k pixels, so I'm going to say no to that. Also, I want you guys to know that BobBot died again on his way to me. BobBot has done nothing but die... Uh, there's a chest down there. BobBot has done nothing but die over and over and over again, and it feels bad. Okay, I gotta go down here. Get off the ceiling. Can't be having that. Can't be, we can't be having that. Yeah, that's right, you're dead. Okay, start draining the lava. Get out of here. Get out of here, lava. It stinks because it won't prioritize the liquid until the blocks are out of the way. Uh, some kind of weapon. Ooh, gravity augment. Hello. Can I stop burning? I got what looks like a freaking fork. Uh, I think the merchant just died. <laughs> Energy jobs are worthless. Gravity augment, an EPP module that manipulates gravity, slowing your descent in the air. Now that sounds incredibly freaking useful for traversing a planet, but I don't want to break my light augment. I only have one. Hell, I almost want to just make another EPP. And then we can swap between them. Ooh. Because, I mean, low gravity while exploring the surface of the planet, I'm always, basically I always have the jump boost. Kind of, sort of, not really. But it's effectively, I'm guessing, like, me being on the moon. And how easy it is to traverse there. But that could be good. Dude, look at this little pumpkin dude. I want to capture this little pumpkin dude. Here. Capture pumpkin dude. Why are you no capture pumpkin critter dude? Like, I, uh, it feels bad that I can't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I want it. I want to make it my little pet dude. My little bro. Because Bob Bot's just not. Bob Bot's not doing it for me. <laughs> oh, Fire Lord's Greaves. I already have the full set, so any of those that I get is just vendor fodder. And I have quite a few dupes at home to take care of. Um. I'm not seeing any chests either direction. Jeez. This is ridiculous. Falling down there would be absolute death. <laughs> Don't do that. Take it from me. Don't do that. Still nothing here. Hold them all. Oh, man, you came out of nowhere. Back off! The gnome tells you no. Gnome means gnome. See what I did there? Gnome means gnome. Back off. You are a little bit too fast for your own good because you just flew off the damn edge. I, I'd say I feel bad for you, but you're out of, you're gone. You're out of my hair. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay, and before this tries to kill me. Yep. I told you. I tilt over a couple seconds periodically, so that'll cancel out for the most part. I am hungry. <gasps> Glitch! He appears to be hostile. Irate, you have what? Mess with the what? Is he... I think he's trying to kill me? Yes, he's definitely trying to kill me. So these aren't nice Glitch people. These are hostile Glitch people. This Black Woven Bender is trying very hard to be menacing. Well, let's heal once more. And what do I have to consume? Garden salad? Nice and filling? Alright, you, sir, have got to go. In passion, you have returned only to be vanquished. <laughs> they say stupid stuff. Uh, same examine on that. Looks like a wooden street lamp. A moody colored banner that can be placed anywhere. And you guys are really trying to kill me. You got a shield and everything. Yeah, good luck fucking blocking that. I mean, I don't know how that works. Sounds like your shield broke, buddy. Fall down there and enjoy the pit of death. Now you die. <laughs> I could be all menacing if I want to. Looks like some kind of training dummy swordplay, perhaps. Hmm, I wonder. Barely sharp enough to cut cheese. I mean, you could say cut cheese or cut the cheese. It, it, that, that depends. An adorable little well cover. I love how it's just like they have a building built into a well. That's, that's neat. I'll take that. It's mine now. And all the hay bales and stuff. This is the stuff that I wanted to decorate my, my barn with. Ooh, lots of stuff to examine. Interesting. This will certainly have bearing on my research. It appears to be some kind of almanac. There are illustrations of lots of different people. And examining it or interacting with it does nothing. This clue hints at hidden information. I wonder how old some of these books are. The ins and outs of it. An observation on glitch reproduction. Ooh. Lewd. By Hylotal Dr. K. Sakana. Uh, this will be an interesting read. Glitch reproduction is managed by couples, and it seems to be one of the glitch's many, pro uh, many program blind spots. Ooh. This is getting interesting. <laughs> Runchy. Fifty Shades of Glitch. 
It was some time before I was able to witness the process. He watched. Come on. As Glitch, who would allow me to observe, allow you to observe the procedure, were few and far between. When I eventually did find a willing couple, what I saw was quite fascinating. Parts were procured from an, from a certain shop. The couple picking items and features, and features that felt right. These parts were then taken home, and over the course of several weeks, the new glitch was built. They build them. What the fuck? The process took over. Uh, the process took place over multiple sessions. And was always uh, was always undertaken in private, but for my presence. Each time, once the work had started in earnest, both glitch went into a sort of trance. Some level of their functioning entirely suspended. While in this state, they carried out feats of engineering I would usually deem far beyond them. Uh, these being, these being enacted mechanically, efficiently, and completely silent. It was quite the strange. It was quite strange to watch. At the terminus of each session, the two glitch would suddenly and simultaneously become their usual selves. Uh, interestingly, the few times I discussed the process after the fact, neither would go beyond stating that they had a very nice time. Oh, oh my! This is um, interesting reads. Mechanical uh, machinations, machinations. What really? Machinations. Whatever. A, a history of glitch di dynastic. What is it? Dynastic. Dynastic intrigue. Uh, throughout history, and flow and eddy of shifting factions uh, has uh, so blah, 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 has held sway over the keeps and castles of the Glitch. The first Glitch family to rule in this province were the noble Wirebits, who lasted several generations. Then, in a bid to extend their influence, they married their then heir, Pluglock Wirebit, to the renowned and beautiful Valve Pin Leadkey. These names, these names. Sadly, Leadkey proved a thorny rose, and a marital dispute soon devolved into an, an out warfare. What involved into out and out? Out and who says out and out warfare? Out and out warfare between the two houses. After much strife, the Leadkeys were victorious. However, the rule of the Leadkeys didn't last long. A notorious northern lord, Hexkey Cliphinge, these names <laughs> had been watching and plotting. While the Leadkeys were still depleted from the wirebit turmoil, Cliffhinge pronounced. Or pounced and easily pushed them out. Cliffhinge. Unfortunately for Cliffhinge, he died soon after, leaving no heirs. So the land passed to the family Washerplate, who promptly lost it to House Locknut, who quickly fell to the Flyheads and soon brought down by the fan clips, and so on and so forth, ad infinitum. It should be noted that despite the upheaval pl plaguing their upper echelons, the pr proletariat. Who's this proletariat? The proletariat remains steadfasting, or steadfastly unfazed to the point of indifference. They simply go about their business as intention of their program. I kind of, like the unnecessary, flaunty wording, and I don't even know. Level six firestorm attraction zone. We we haven't we have we haven't butt sex. I'm good with this. What's oh gravity? I want, can I use that to get like a jump boost? Nah, just kind of pulls you over. Now that's useful for an enemy. I wonder how well enemies can pathfind out of that. Does that go where I aim at? Or is it always near me? It goes where I aim. That could be useful. Group up enemies and then use my special, my old assault rifle if I can ever find it again. Or just use my rocket launcher. That's a good combo. A hay bed. I can't imagine sleeping on this night after night. Then again, there's the energy thing. Ooh. Platinum drill. Okay. Let's try this. On this dude. You you can be in my experiment. No, the knockback. No, he can't escape. He he cannot oh, okay, well he can after a while, it looks like. So it's not not indefinite. Um the ins and outs of it, we've already read this one. That was the lewd one, I think. Hey, plead itself where you glitch. I feel like I've read this already. Yep, already read that one. And that's a duplicate one, so we already read that. An old and dusty wooden dresser. A warm stone fire. All I need now is a bag of marshmallows. Yum. I can't remember the last time I had marshmallows like that over a fire. It's sort of a video game. This might fall down and crush someone. Uh, good thing this isn't a video game. I wonder if there's a gateway to another world in here. Narnia! Axe display. Oh, apparently this is related to it. A clue of small implication, but relevant nonetheless. It was one of those things that I bet if I saw I needed to. I would need to examine it. Weird. Nothing in here. All right, what's this say? This is an ex. This is excellent. Everything you find contributes to the formation of my theory. My ship's sensor suggests this map is all wrong. <laughs> oh, you silly glitch peoples! You dummies! You dummies! Uh, nothing in here. Can I look at these? Yep. Oh, energy javelins. Worthless. Uh huh. Now how do we get up here? 
other than doing what I just did. Or digging through. And before he shoots at me and knocks me off the edge. Really? Really? That's gonna be how we go about this? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. No, thank you. So does the game really want me to, like, go over there, or...? Like... What's the way that the game wants me to tackle this? Mine is just digging through it myself, which I might as well do. Then again, do I really want to ruin this place? I mean, we could cap. We could use this. This is a tier six planet. This is all high tier stuff. I can just steal it. Okay. Well, you know what? Can I get stuck here? I can. It's, it's going to be relatively easy to fix. Heavy stone brick and small stone brick. So the small stuff. It's in the center. The heavy stone brick. Around the outside, around the outside. See what I did there? But it goes on the outside. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. A person. A glitch person. We'll kill them shortly. I got a harp! I've got a harp! I'm about to get all musical up in here. I can't I can't play I can't play instruments. I'm a pleb. Nobody loves me. Uh I will get you. I will get you, man. Noink. You are about to have a very bad time. Damn, that was a rocket to the face. You've seen better days, bud. I'm a wee bit hurt, and now I'm not. Yes! I needed that. Solarium. Solarium's good. Nothing in here fancy to examine. That sucks. No javelins for me. No javelins for me. So, I don't know why they would have me go around all the way like that. And this is totally a lift. Let's not fall, because we will go splat. If, if I can't pulse jump back, we would go splat so freaking hard. There's so much to this place. Looks like there's like a vendor here, like a smithy and a food shop. Nice. I like it. I like it. Well, let's explore this layer first. Uh, or not. <laughs> let's just go back up top. I don't know why these spikes are here. There, there's no reason for them to be here. Well, we'll just we'll just take care of that. Hey, buddy. Oh, I should do this. Doink. And let me try the primary click. Fearless, I have fought bigger foes than you before. Oh, you, you just got destroyed. I may use the staff a bit. Uh, that's an actual furnace that I can use. Cool. An oiled gear seems like it's a bit rusty, though. A sign is warning. The sign is warning about something dangerous. Maybe I should be wary. Yeah, that, that that's a tarp and a half right there. What triggers that, though? Is that just like your presence nearby, or is there an actual switch? I, I, don't, I don't. I don't see a switch. I wonder how that works. Night helmet. That's a cool-looking helmet. Tis scratched. Tis scratched. Oh no. No. And an upgrade module, which that's the first one that I have because we just spent eight. I don't use any more for my ship. What do I use upgrade modules for now at this point? That's a good question that I do not have the answer to. A shop sign for a blacksmith's morge. I hope I can make those because that'd be really cool. A sign for a farm shop. Like, that'd be really cool to use in my own base. A roaring desk of surface is covered in splattered ink. Burlap sack. Uh, solarium copper. An hourglass, another hourglass. I guess I'll take that. Drill, pixels, med kit, useful things. Oh. A pretty little pendulum, cl pendulum clock. The pendulum swings, but the time doesn't seem to change. That's something cool that we could print out and put in our house. Well, what's up here? How did else does this connect? Really, they want you to pathfind all the way over here when you can just do this. Ha! This castle's huge. Those are worthless. Those are good. You know, those battle axes, anything that's like a throwing weapon has always just been really worthless to me. Ooh. I don't know what that structure is over there, but I want it. Oh, let's have some fun here. Here you go, you guys. <laughs> really, I, I can't fall down. <laughs> it's like a glitch king. Look at him, he's got a crown. I couldn't fall down, that wouldn't let me. <laughs> you motherfucker. I thought you'd get stuck there. No, don't jump, that's the only way to get out of there. Look at him, he's stuck. Here, taste rockets. He's got a lot of health. Fight me. I stab at thee. Alright, you're dead. A globe that is nothing like... Okay. Even the smallest piece of evidence can help to uncover the grandest secrets of the universe. A globe of, the, a, globe of a world that's nothing like our, uh, like this one. The statuette. I've seen this individual before. Was it in a book somewhere? I'll investigate. A charming statuette complete with a little velvet green cape. I'll take it. Glitch statuette. It's mine now. I'll take the globe too. It's kind of cool. Medieval globe. Solarium, some other things. A gold trimmed chest. Alien appendage. Um, it's a unique weapon. Hold on. Um, 
It, it almost looks like a stuffed turkey with like a cannon hidden into it. Kind of, sort of, you know, like a stuffed chicken or so something like that. Damage per shot 10.9. What's the gnome gun? It doesn't, te doesn't tell me. 10.9, rate of fire 2, energy per shot 18.8. .8. What the fuck am I about to get? What am I getting into? Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen to the noise it makes. It's even. What am I, What is this? This is disgusting and interesting at the same time. Well, I'm sorry, buddy, but fall damage is a thing. I am not going across that. No way. I will go to the other side, and I just won't pathfind because I know what this, what's at the end of it. There's no way I'm going across that right now. Um, I think I have to go through here, though. I believe there's nowhere else for me to go. That's that's the backdrop, and I dug in. Let's go across this part, I guess. I, I, I don't know what to tell you about this thing. This is a little bit weird. And it doesn't really do that much. I, 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 I don't know how to feel about that. I, 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 <laughs> truly, I don't, I don't know how to feel about the alien appendage thing. I think it's a little bit weird. But it's a unique weapon. It's a legendary weapon. I'll take it. Hey, don't fall. Don't get shot and fall off the edge. That'd be bad news. Oh, you're shooting at me. Stop it. Wow, that's a lot of torches and pixels that, that are free. Medkit! Dude, that, that dude's chasing me down. I need you to step off, man. Nothing here. I can't loot those. Oh, I'm hitting the torches. Uh, I guess before I go down, I'll go check what's up top. Hey, buddies. Here. Boink. Rip. Aw, oh, you live. Let me take care of that for you. <laughs> Come on. He blocked most of it, which is kind of annoying. Alright, rip you, dude. Anything else? Oop. Melting clocks. Why would the glitch paint this? I don't know. Glitch are weird, dude. Glitch are real weird. Dead end, cool, but there's a chest. Battle standard or something, yeah, that's what I thought it was called. Uh, shotgun, 29 damage with a grenade launcher. Well, we gotta try this thing. I like me a shotgun. It sounds pretty menacing. And this takes us to the other side, to where we just were. No point going that way. Let's go down, right? Yeah, this way. Ooh, there's a fish over here. Hey, buddy. Say hello to my little friend. The noom gun. That's the noise that I imagine it makes. Ooh. Uh, meh. It has a rocket spear on it, which is really cool, but as a weapon, it doesn't do an, that much damage. Not worried about it at all. What you guys got going on down here? Hmm? Gotta get closer. Most of, most of my shots, honestly, aren't even hitting with this thing. Even when all of them do, it's only 130 something damage. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Nope. Nope, what about the grenade launcher? Should I have damage from this thing? How much does it do? 174. The grenade launcher does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, not something I think I'll be using. Sorry, Bat. You don't want to be in a closed area with me when I'm using that weapon. That's generally not good for you. Ape Grapes does want to eat. Continue to use the sword, because it does work. I almost always take damage when I use that spec. I don't like that. I very much dislike that. I always get hit with that spec. It's stupid. Damage two collar, nice, and a manipulator module. Okay, so the next place to go would be down there. And I guess the best way to do it would be to use the uh, the morph ball along the side here. I, lo I love the one that we have. It lets me grab one of the walls. That's so good for exploring. The aqua one's kind of cool for those, fr those, those ocean planets, but it just falls short of this one. Haughty. You do not look like much of a threat. Is, is, that, is that the case there, man? I, I, I begged... Uh, I'm inclined to disagree. I'm inclined to disagree. Here you go. Hold on. No, come on. I don't know if I can get the arc off here. I want to knock him off the edge. That's what I'm going for. Ooh, it's close. Oh, it's, it can be done. Oh, it can be done. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be easy. Yes. 
<laughs> He's gonna be fallen for a while. I don't know if we'll ever see that dude again. That's not what I wanted to do, but at least we're here. Um, I don't think we'll ever be seeing that dude again. Really? The fact that that grab ball launched me off is a bit depressing. Watch. Like, right here, I guess, that just because of that block, even though it wasn't open. Meh. Meh. Whatever. We'll go around and up. We still have to go up. I have to go down to where I was at before. Which... Because, like, that whole level still hasn't been explored. This is this is going to take some time to clear, is essentially what's about to happen. I, I still have to go over to the right. Nice sword you got. Now you're dead. Okay, these are platforms I can stand on. I'm, I'm really worried about what is and is not a platform that I can stand on. <laughs> Don't block me. Get out of Get out of Just shut up and die. You know what? Shut up and taste rocket launcher. Have I been over here? Is this the part where I was at? I think this is. Yeah, the energy spears I left behind. I've examined that. I went up there and I broke it. Yeah, this is the part of the castle that I've already explored. So I need to go over here because this is new area. All right, sort of have my bearings right now. Not to say there's not castle below me though. This place is huge. Like, holy fuck. This is by far the biggest place I've ever been to. What is that thing? Look at it. What? Um, okay. I got some weird things to kill. But it is time to wrap the episode up here, though, guys. I'm sorry to say, episode, I think, 82. I want to say it's episode 82. I'm going to stop wasting myself. I don't need to make so many. Episode 82, sorry about it. We found our glitch village. We're examining things. We are getting our progress. We are finding new enemies, new things, new stuff, weapons and armor and all that jazz. And Halo chess pieces. Maybe some of those will count. That should be pretty cool, but that'll be for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.